Is in this video, we are going to be walking through how you can use a multimeter as well as a voltage tester in order to troubleshoot a light switch that you have. We're currently troubleshooting the lighting in this living room. And the very first thing that you can do with your light switch is just confirm that it works. So um, the really cool setting that a lot of these multimeters have is the continuity check. And so basically what that tells you is if you have a connection between your two wires. So if I can put this on a mount, just like that, as you guys can see, what happens when you have it set to the continuity mode here is these wires will beep when they're in contact with each other. So to check if your switch is actually broken in the off position, put it right there. And then you've got these two leads Hopefully we can see that. I've got these two leads, it's in the off position. So when I connect these two things, I'm not hearing any beeping, but when I switch this to the on position, this is a single pull switch, we can confirm that there is continuity between this. So we've just confirmed that this is a good switch. So we don't need to worry about that currently to check if your light bulb is good. Um, you can again check for continuity because what happens in these light bulbs is you've got current that basically runs from the outside, goes up into the filament, makes the light bulb turn on, and then it exits through this part right here. So to check if this is good, you can hold the um, one probe on the outside metal and then another probe on the inside metal, and you should be able to hear uh, the current coming through. If we're not hearing that, we can try a different bulb to see if that is good. So that bulb does not look great. And so I've got these additional bulbs right here so we can test those. Put this on the outside, take this thing and put this on top. And so with that, we've just confirmed that this bulb is good um, by checking the continuity. And so if you can't hear that and we are using a uh, filament bulb, then that means that the bulb's not good. So we've just confirmed we've got a good bulb. Um, and now the next thing we're gonna be doing in troubleshooting this is actually looking at the circuit itself. Um, and so right now what I have is the uh, circuit is turned on. So I've got end caps and all the relevant wires. And then I've also put some uh, lines or um, extensions onto these the alligator clips and so basically the first thing you want to do is identify which one of these is your line wire your line wire if you take your volt meter you'll note right now how it only beeps once if you hold it up to your line wire that will be beeping and note how it's black and you've got three black wires in here if you hold it up to these other black wires these other black wires even though the power is live at the circuit breaker um, the line wire does still have voltage and it's detecting that. And so um, that's how you identify your line wire. Uh, I like to mark that and just make it really clear. If you have different color end caps, like I've got an orange end cap here, um, I've been putting those on just to make that uh, very obvious. And then the other thing you wanna check to see how you're doing is if you take your ground wire, which is gonna be a bare copper or a green wire, G for ground, um, and you hook that up to your multimeter. I'm gonna hook this up to red, just like that on my multimeter. And then we take our black probe here and we hook this up to the uh, line wire that we have, plug that in. Now, if we turn on our multimeter and because we are using AC current, we're expecting 220. So I'm gonna set this to that mark there and we can confirm that we are indeed getting 220 uh, plus or minus volts AC coming out of these uh, line wires, and that's relative to our ground wire. So um, basically what we've done now is just confirmed that we've got good current. And then what that also tells us is that these two black wires, because this is a single pole switch, are gonna be the wires that when you flip this switch, what the switch is basically doing is it's taking the current from your line wire and passing it up to the current in the uh, two load wires. So these two other black wires are the load wires in this case. 
And so that is how we're going to be troubleshooting um, this actual light switch. So generally a, a common practice among electricians is you will always put your line wire on the bottom um, of your single pole switch and then whatever other wires are going out to the lights, that is what you will decide to go with for the um, actual uh, load wires, the, lo the wires that will then go from the actual switch to your lights. Um, so that's gonna wrap things up for this general troubleshooting. Um, and so if at any point you discovered that you know your switch was broken, um, obviously you would replace it if you didn't have continuity between this when it was on the on position or you still had continuity when it was in the off position. We also confirmed that we had continuity between the two metal surfaces on this light bulb, this filament light, to make sure that the filament hadn't burned out because if it did burn out, there wouldn't be any continuity because that wire will have severed. And then finally, what we also did is we confirmed that the a, there is a 120 volts AC potential difference between our line wire, which we identified with our voltage checker um, while we've got the power on. And you want to be really careful while the power's on because you can get shocked and it is painful, uh, speaking from experience. Um, and then we also confirmed this by checking that relative to the ground uh, copper wire. So once we've done this, we've confirmed that we've got good power, a good switch, good lights, um, you should be able to resolve any issues that you guys are encountering with the lighting. So hope this video is helpful. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and take care.